y'all know what it is, man. Late night, riding and rolling. It is late as ever, but early as ever. I think, what's the time? Let's see what time it is. Let's see how much time frame we got left on this drive, gang. What time we looking like on there? Okay, yeah, we knocking it down. Knocking it down. Y'all know we had to stop and get that young gas real quick. You know what I'm saying? First time filling up for the whole trip. I'm kind of drained, but I'm not drained because I'm literally running off like a drilling in right now. You know I'm trying to make sure we make it there on time. Cuzzo in there getting snacks and everything like that, man. I ain't even had a camera on this entire drive because, I mean, it really is nothing for y'all to look at while I'm driving, but just dark road, you know what I'm saying? So when the light cut on, we get a little bit more scenes, you know what I'm saying? We coming back down in Memphis, man. You feel me? I should make a post, tell y'all link up with me, come pull up, tattoo how y'all... Uh-oh, we done? We done on gas? Yes, sir. We done on gas. I should make a post, though, to let y'all know I'm going to be out there in Memphis, man, so y'all can link up, because if that's the way that y'all tattooed the way I was out there last time, that definitely is what I need to see again this time. But I don't know if that's what I'm going to do, because like I say, I'm on some in and out. I'm trying to make it back to the shit now, so they can go ahead and smack this young transmission in Hawkeye, and we back on the mission for MLK, man. So y'all already know. Stay tuned. No, don't need no receipt. You feel me? Keep track of all that other stuff. I'm about to bop ahead, get some snacks and everything, and then get back on this road with y'all in a minute, man. So y'all just stay tuned. Like I said, we almost at the transmission spot. About four hours left for this whole journey, man. Nothing. Easy work. Y'all stay tuned. show y'all that young tranny yes sir she out and she's in the uh, you feel me and y'all know where we at man one spot yes sir we just took that young trend up all the way to memphis man to come rock with dave at dnb man and y'all know if you don't know you better know he got that eight second killer up in this demonstration too man so i gotta show y'all that thing dave dave what up man Chilla, chilla. Y'all see though, man. I had to come show y'all that eight second killer immediately, man. Look like he in the works of doing a lot of stuff to it. I see some pots down there. I see a motor out this demonstration. Yeah. He must be about to twerk and try and get deep up in there, man. But listen, y'all go follow him on Instagram. I'm going to drop the link all up in right here his Instagram, so y'all go ahead and follow him and everything. Y'all see, got the biters, all that. Good transmissions all through here and everything, too. <laughs> what we got right here. Is that Hawk Eyes? Is that Hawk Eyes? About to get that black eye? Yes, sir. Y'all know we gotta do what we gotta do to make sure we MLK ready and everything like that, man. They about to bust that demonstration down. We gonna see what's all to it. Get it back suited and booted. Jump back on this road. Do what we gotta do and everything like that, man. So once Dave get a pop to fall, I want to talk to him a little bit more about his Hellcat and everything. What all he gonna did to it. How he done got it dipped down in the eights because that's a big accomplishment already. It ain't that many Hellcats in the eights already. So, you know your boy want to know what he done did to that demonstration. You know what I'm saying? Talk some pulley combinations and everything with the kids. You know, for the one time. For the one time cause this thing is a beast. And I ain't going to lie, y'all. I wish it wasn't taken apart because I would have had to have Dave come open up that demonstration on the road for me. Because, hey, we got a lot of open road out here, don't we? Because <laughs> plenty open road. You just waking up. You still dead, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap the last 30 minutes of this ride. I was tapping out, but I ended up getting up on the phone and turning myself up. And then y'all already know once you reach your destination, the energy gets all the way back there, man. Once we get this transmission unloaded, I'm gonna show y'all what damage I done did to it and what gotta be done. And y'all already know black ass coming real soon again, man. We only down for a little hot second, man. So it ain't nothing too crazy. Dave, what's the word, man? 
Hey man. Hey, that's what the word is. I'm what trying to tell y'all. Hey, I thought I thought y'all was gonna be warm out here. It's freezing just like Chicago. The thing about it is, come what Wednesday or Thursday, be 50, 60 degrees here. Oh that's man, crazy. You know, that's do, crazy. One day, them warm as hell. <laughs> that's crazy, man. What December we had temperatures high as 70 something. You know? Oh man, see y'all living it still out here, boy. We got snow, all type of stuff hitting well, different well, towns. Further south, you know that. Hey, I thought. Hey, I was ready to come up out. Hey, gang, I was ready to come up out the fur today. I thought it was going to be a lot warmer south, but. If only you looked as good as I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, fluid. Fluid. Whatever it is, I, do I need? Do well, I mean? Need fluid. Like I tell Jeremy, you know, we can save you money on fluid. Okay, yeah, whichever uh, way. Yeah, whatever yeah. way is the best way. I for... over here today, but I need to make sure that. Okay, and I seen you was talking about something about fluid too. It's a difference in different fluids and stuff like that, or? Okay. Okay, bet, bet. Um, I have to open the box. I think it's in there though. I have to open it up and see. Right. Let's go that route. Yeah. I asked Jeremy too, did uh he put it in I think he boxed it in here though. I'm pretty sure he boxed everything in here. How much is fluid? Is is that 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 fluid that high for the Mopars? Jeremy said it's 28 bucks a quart. Oh yeah. Man. Right, that, that, that. Yes, sir. Need need to save as many coins as possible because these Mopars be kicking ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. That's all they do is eat money. <laughs> hey, they big girls for, for, for no reason. <laughs> man, y'all, I wish we could head this demonstration fire up. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man, because, ooh, this a different. I wonder if this the intake on his. This got to be the intake that he was running on there, too. Yeah, I see them stainless works on this demonstration. Man, like I say, we got to. We just got here, so we're trying to do what we got to do, get whatever is needed so we get the transmission back together and we get back on this road, man. So once you get done ordering all the stuff that we need real quick, so it come in, like I said, we posted here today, man. This is what you call grind time, grind shine. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's needed, man. You got to jump out, step out. You know what I'm saying? We got good team. I'm a part of a good team, you feel me? Yes, sir. Satera tuning. You know what I'm saying? So, it's mandatory to play my part too and get this thing up because man, we trying to show y'all what we're capable of doing and all the sauce that's out there to give to y'all. Plus, it's been needed for a black eye to happen on this demonstration, man. So I'ma get with y'all in a hot minute and then we'll chop it up because we needs to know about this young eight second demonstration. Yeah, I'll see what is going on. Oh, man. Man, we need Dave to tell us a little something, something about this killer. We need you to tell us about this killer, Dave. How you done got it to where it's at. What's all done to it. But before you even get to talking, please let them know where we at, phone number, address, and what we got going on here, man. We're in Memphis, Tennessee, d, &D Automotive at 1696 Bartlett Road, 38134. You can call us at 901-383-4824. Indeed, indeed. I'm going to drop all that information on the screen right here, and it's going to be in the description. But, man, I had to know how. First of all, tell the people how quick have you been in this car. This car ran 884. <laughs> uh, 566 and 8th mile. That's all blower and motor, 2.4 blower. <laughs> The nitrous lid, but no nitrous. It had to live, but no nitrous has ever been installed in the car. And on this particular setup, that's the fastest one's ever been with that setup. With the air glass, heating and air glass, and all that. Um, we did do some research. I don't know if you noticed on my Facebook stuff that we found out that this car was a Chrysler test car. Oh, yeah? Yeah, got a test mule. The block turned out to be a 2018 though, even though it's a 2016. Right, oh, so you got the better one then, right? Because they Apparently said something about the newer the ones. Motor after testing. Now, I bought this car February 19th. Uh-huh. Okay. It had 6,000 miles on it. Uh-huh. Uh, it had like 72 on the sticker, but they sold it to me for 50. Of course, it was, I'm sure that's why. Right, right. But the motor date was June 12th, 
of 18 on the build date. That's so that crazy. Tells you sometime after that particular build date, the motor was right. Chances are, I got a car six thousand, but the motor may not have had five hundred miles. Right, right, right. But, you know, we this motor had the ARP rod boats. Okay. And, you know, I never threw the nitrous at it because I was like, well, it's a sixteen motor, I don't want to blow it. Up. Right, right, right. We made it go fast. But had I known they had the ARP rod boats, you would have sent it. I probably would have went ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. but that's fine because you know it went past anyway you know right. even, even the last pass that i made in still alabama it was 70 something degrees i think the da was right about 1600 we ran 897 <laughs> so the lowest da we ever saw on this car was a negative 300 right about 43, 43 degrees, and was that was when you did though the best pass your personal best, best in that pass, da the best pass was the 884 <laughs> riding Riding. And that was on a stock. That stock block. All stock. The motor. It was. You can look at the part number on it. It was a full long block they put in there. Never been touched. And um, you know we partnered with Competition Cams. Uh huh. TPI on them. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna build us a custom cam mm -hmm. designed exactly for my setup. Right. They say we can get about another hundred horsepower out of it. Oh, blower only. Still all motor. That's nuts. We're just gonna go fast. That's, all we're gonna do. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah. Did y'all hear the numbers that this demonstration is doing, man? Eight eighties on stock block. You need that young key? Oh, where's that? You call. Oh, there you go, right there, big dog. Eight eighties though, y'all. That is crazy. Out of stock block. Man, listen, when he get back off that phone call, man, I'm going to let y'all, hey, I'm going to put y'all in tune with the pulley combo and everything, you know what I'm saying? Because that is riding. Riding. Oh, yeah, man, we got we to gotta figure out the whole race combination on this, y'all. I ain't going to sit here and lie to y'all. We got to figure this one out because y'all get y'all a slim body, man. He dipped up in the eights. Whoo! And that's all. Um, so what um, pulley combo did you have on this? We actually had a 10% lower with the 257. Okay. Oh, damn. You had a 257 spinning, spinning that blower oh, there. We ran 899 with the 269. Oh, okay. Damn. I have a 250 uh, pulley, but I never did pull that 8,000. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as soon as you clock that figure eight, I would have been happy too. Y'all head though, man. That's the crazy thing about these cars. I ain't gonna sit here and lie. Dodge, y'all did y'all thing with these, man. The platform is just, I mean, it do what it do. Couple bolt ons man. You don't even got to go built motor and all that. For the guys that is built, hey, you been in the gym doing your squats. So that means you ready to do them young, yeah, yeah. You feel me? That's the type of time we on, man. Oh, man. That's crazy. This thing riding. This thing was riding, man. That that thing is riding. I ain't gonna lie to you. What um what was done to the transmission on this? Well, I mean, it's my transmission. You know, uh, we broke four of the knee drums on mine. Okay. And then we found out later after the fact that really it was the rear cradle moving forward, basically shoving the drive shaft up into the rear of the trans, binding oh. the CV, and that's because we went to that steel e drum. Okay. And um, other than that, you know, it's my 8HP Extreme Trans. Okay. Um, we got the upgraded clutches, extra clutches in the pack for more torque capacity. Okay. Uh, Z Dung Ho, Z Tune. Yeah, yeah. The trans. Okay. Uh, it was Dust Ross Tune on the motor. Okay. And um, if, if they look me up on Facebook, they can see the teardown of the motor. Okay. And how great it looked. The motor was clean. Right. As hard as we ran that thing, we probably had 600 plus passes. Man, so, so you run, run this summer. thing. I don't remember how many weeks out of the uh, year we ran, but I know it had to be 25, 26 weeks that we ran the car. Just testing tunes and events like that, or just? Racing and testing. Going Man. Out, you know, grudge racing on weekends, things like that. Oh, you a grudge racer too? So we do it on the track. Right, right, right. Too right. old. <laughs> <laughs> and I really don't condone it, but hey, you know, I'm not young. Hey, Mexico it is. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, but, indeed. Uh, we, we stayed mainly down south, of course. You know, we raced in the um, the uh, Hemi Hemi race. Okay, the shootout. The um, yeah. they got like the whole little. So you went to all the different ones, or just kind of kept the last. I think 
two or three races. Okay. I just got toward the end of the year. Maryland's like 16 hours. Right. Jersey's like 16 yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah. You know what, Too guys, far. I'm done for the year. I'm not traveling no more. We're gonna I, stay down south, you know, and uh, we, we raced down in South Georgia to Dell, and we tested a lot in still Alabama. Okay. So we get prepped. Right, oh, okay, so that's the difference with the- With uh, Brainerd, Georgia, me and Kobe, we raced, me and Kobe raced a lot all over. Okay. Of course, we did the Hemi race in Houston, you know. Right, right. Uh, went to Virginia, <clears throat> snapped the damn transmission on the first pass, <laughs> both of drum course. Off the line? Right on the first pass. As soon as it hit it, hit third, it was gone, you know. Damn. Oh my God, 14 hours driving, but that's racing. Hey, it come know. with it, especially when you, you know, laying down. You? Hey, you know me, indeed. <laughs> Y'all see it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, things break. Right. You race, you got to expect stuff to break. Indeed, especially when you're pushing the envelope. Did you ever get this dyno tuned? Like, how much power did it on make the to the tire? I've got a Facebook video on it. On the 269 pulley, we dynoed 972 Ooh. at 1,022 torque. Damn, the torque out the roof. It's all about torque, baby. Damn. That's what cuts them 127, you know, 60 foot. <laughs> that torque is crazy. Yeah, and you gotta imagine we never. I, I didn't dyno with 257. I thought I said right, right, right. A little bit of extra, so I guess to make maybe we're at a thousand and maybe about 1100 torque. Maybe. Right. And, Damn. Uh, you know, we ran the 899 still Alabama that night. Okay. Came back, told Kobe, said, "Hey, we're gonna switch that 257. We're gonna blow that record out." Right, right. <laughs> somebody texted me and said, "Hey, it should be like an 897. You need like 897." Went up there. The guys are at still Alabama are phenomenal people. Dude. Okay. If you want to race at a good track. How far is that from here? Still from here is probably right about four or five hours. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so y'all don't really got local tracks around here that's well, real good, Memphis, and but, the know, one that we went uh, to for that event. We raced Memphis the last couple of weeks of the year, and then we got Holly Springs, which is the eighth mile. Okay. It always has exceptional tracks. Okay. The best tracks I've ever been to. That's a grudge still, track, ain't it? Yeah, Holly Springs. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's a great track to race at. Okay. If you're going to test. It's always a good test to take a mile anyway. Right, right. And then, um, still, hold on. Yeah. Oh, hey, busy man, busy man. Hey, get to it. Y'all see it, man. Get into the money. Eating this thing, nuking, boy. Everybody pulling up here, man. Y'all must, this the place to be. And if you locally around, or even if you fire, you see your boy just took that young drive all the way from the shy out here to get that tranny done. So, huh. That say something alone, you know what I'm talking about? But man, once he get back over here, man, we need, like I'm telling y'all, this car is crazy. I'm gonna try and find a clip and insert it right up in here right now so y'all can just see how this demonstration lead and run, so. She scooted in boot, don't she, gang? She scooted in boot. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to y'all, man. When he get done with the customer, cut this demonstration back on, man, so he get back to explaining, doing what he gotta do. And I ain't gonna try and hold him up too much, you know what I'm saying, because we still gotta get back on that road. I wanna see exactly what's all done to that. Oh, no, you good, you good. Been repaired yet. You say that's the, that's so that's the steel e-drum? E that's the, the, drum, that's the okay. bulletproof one then, that's right? steel e-drum, and as you can see, I'll pull this stuff out. This demon parts right here out of the demon. Okay. I, actually, I got the case right here I'm going to be building, but I'm building a stock, a stock demon for somebody. You see, that's the aluminum drum. So this is what come in the factory, and this, this factory, is... Yeah, and this is... Now, the demon has the 95 drum, which yours will have a 95 drum. So okay. You have the tri right? Right. But the earlier model Hellcats had a 90 drum. Okay. And you see that 1104 number? Okay, that's yeah. That's going to be a 95 drum. A 1091 number will be a Hellcat drum. Okay. And that's, that's the difference. So okay. can they use Trackhawk Demon right here, drums in the Hellcat? Right here, this is a Hellcat drum. It's got 1091. Okay, yeah. I see it right there. And yeah. the difference is the splines, actually. Uh, the, splines, the splines are uh, not as many splines as the demon because the demon like i said has finer splines right oh yeah, yeah i can see it a bit. like yeah. it's a lot more and they a lot this skinnier being that it has more splines 
Uh, it's considered to be a little stronger. Okay. Personally, I, I'd break the shit out of that son of a bitch if I was running it. But... <laughs> hey, I mean, you laying down big numbers. We repaired the drum, and I, I'm gonna put this in mind, and it was an option for you too. That's the only drum right now that's even fixed. Right, right. That's the only one that, that's available for, uh, for our transmissions in general, right? Well, uh, I do know some other drums are being designed. I don't know, I don't have any information on that because they haven't been put in cars yet. But personally, with the, the Steely drum, the big power, I'll say definitely go that way, no doubt. Right. I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be still. Right, so right. One less headache you got to worry about. Right, right. They break, they break in track hogs and demons and anything. And anything, anything laying down right. power. And what's going on in here? I'm on batting the valve body right now. That's the steam cleaner. Okay. Before you put it in. So that's going all up in this transmission? Yes, this is for a car out there for custom cars. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's what's up, man. You definitely know your stuff with this transmission stuff for a fact. Hey, I can understand that too. I can understand. Man, how were you able to get them 315s back on here? They just both dead up. That side fire go dead up with no. You know, you uh, you have to, of course, I've got the 15 inch conversion in the back. Right, yeah, I know that's that's a must. You have to massage the inner fender well, which basically they say massage just really beat the hell out of it. Oh, beat it, <laughs> beat it hard, hard. Yeah. I, a long time ago, somebody on one of the forums said, Yeah, you just got to massage in, the inner fender well. I mean, just be truthful and tell you got to beat the hell out of it. <laughs> you, right, because you, you say you went and looked like it. it I know that tire is wide. You got you to throw that son of a bitch. That tire you know is wide. But, um, our cars, we put down so much torque that man is needed. It's hard to hook without having a big tire. That's all there is. When you go big power and everything, the problem with the hook parts coming out. Now everybody, they got people who hooked on 17s and they ran. That's true. Right. But more than likely, they had exceptional, except I mean, really Crazy exceptional prep. prep. Yep, yep, yep. But if you're on a 17, a lot of tracks you're going to be at, and a lot of actual competition racing. The yeah. 17 is not going to hook every time. Right. But the thing about it is, now they do have the 275 that goes on the 15. I'll be testing that this year. Right, that's what like I see. That's what I saw a lot of people. Because when I walked over there and looked at the tire, I'm like, damn, you got a 315. I, I know a lot of people do the 275, and then they do the the 315 is what you normally see on the wide bodies, right? Uh, I think so. Uh, now the 275 is like a 28 in 28 inch tire, which I'm gonna test on that when you run more of the street type classes. Right, stuff. right. Because you do run in a lot of a lot of areas where you gotta run, and they won't let us run because we got a big ass tire and we got open exhaust. Uh, we'll test the car the way it is at the beginning of the year once we get it all back together, mm -hmm. and then we'll throw the full exhaust on it. We'll test on a 275 tire, and I've got a set of 17s up there. I'll test on. Now I've got right. the 305 50 17s up top okay. that actually match the front, the original front wheel. And what we'll do is we'll test on that also, and we'll set that car up to actually run the street classes. I right. know I can. Right. Get, I know I can play with the tuning, and I can get it to launch off the line. Right. And we'll uh, put the two front seats in it. I may uh, I may run the the factory seats in it, or. I may just uh, make another race seat and put two front race seats because they don't say it has to be a factory seat. On most of the you've got to have two front seats. Right, right. Put the rear seat, the lead kit in the back. Right. And, so what uh, are you like stripped that. out of this right now? What's all um, stripped out of it right now? The, um, now we, we, we actually ran an 886 with the driver's seat in it. Okay. The passenger seat's out, the rear seat's out. Uh, now it's actually got the rear panels out. Okay. Uh, I did build a race seat for the driver's side, but all the carpet and everything else, that all the other stuff's still in it. Right. Okay. So you it's know? not even mega gutted then. No, we didn't. Strip, the door panels, everything are on it. Oh, okay. Okay. We didn't strip it completely down. There's a lot left. There was a lot left in it to get out and make it go fast. Right. Right. Uh, we, uh, like I said, we got the 15-inch conversion on the back. We went to an SRT8 front brake setup, mm -hmm. which you know you can buy a 15-inch conversion for the front. But I mean, you know, that's like eleven $1 hundred bucks. Right, right. But you can get you a SRT8 conversion. Go to the salvage yard or something. Now, I didn't. I bought mine, but I bought all my stuff on my SRT8, and I didn't spend but about four hundred bucks to switch it over. And I saved eleven pounds per side just doing that. Damn. Now, on the how do it stop? It's a little sketchy. Actually, you got to understand when you went to the smaller rotor, smaller brakes plus the lack of weight. Okay, right, you right. You got less rotating mass. It actually it surprised me in Alabama when I tested it. And actually, the first time I tested it, we ran the 899. That was when we ran on them brakes. 
And I was wondering how it was going to stop. At well, the end. hell it yeah. It actually stopped really nice. If anything, it felt better. Now, I did put Brembo pads on it, of course. That's all right. I recommend if you're racing a car, you need to have the Brembo's on it. That's all there is to it. Damn. So, but, um, that's why I work on the track hog as well, or no? I don't know the front of the track hog setup, but uh, you'd have to probably get with Jeremy. He could probably, y'all can yeah, look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know. He, yeah, because we were talking you, about wait, probably. Wait, wait, horsepower, bro. Right. That's all there is to it. Because you take 100 pounds off. That's a temp. It can be a temp. I'll tell you that before we ran the 899, I took 105 out of the car. Mm -hmm. Damn. That week before. I took 100. Before that, the fastest car I'd ever run was a 913. Damn, and you damn near picked up two tons on my That's a lot to do. Now, uh, weather had a little bit to do with that, too. You got to remember that. But that was a big jump. And then we went from 899, we changed the pulley, and, a, and you know, we went up there, asked the guy, said, hey, y'all going to prep anymore? And I said, he said, no, we're probably not. And I said, dude, I said, I've got a chance to break a record. Right. They stopped like, the track, prepped prep. it for me. And we ran an 886 on just a pulley train. That's Ooh. how much we picked up. 899 to This demonstration riding, gang, I ain't gonna sit here and cap. This thing is rocking and rolling, man. It's just amazing to me how these slim bodies just shake a move, man. Eight seconds out of stock, bottom end car. Just the life that we living in now is crazy. It used to take so much to get a car to even run a single, much less a figure eight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking ridiculous game. Ooh, yeah, I got, I got, y'all gotta go follow him, man, on Instagram and see him shaking them moves down there, man. Cause like I said, I done seen the car, that car lead consistent all the time. Like he say, he got this thing dialed in, man. And that's what it takes. You know what I'm saying? A couple little changes on top of the power, you know, more power, less weight, equivalent. You shaking down there, man. Man, that's impressive. So what's the goals now with the car? With the new motor, that's, the, that's the new the cam and everything? To be honest, I, um, the eight second go really, in reality, wasn't mine originally. Okay. But Kurt, a good friend of mine, Mark Hines out of Florida, okay. they both said, man, we believe your car run eight. Right, right. so then y'all start chasing it. And, and during the year, you know, I worked on the car and got it faster. Okay. You know, during the summertime, I knew that if I went faster in the heat, it was only going to go faster. And when it cooled down, right. Down. Indeed, indeed. And then we hit it, you know, and it actually came a lot. I did not expect to run the eights that night. I figured we might <laughs> be a 9.5. Right. But uh, it surprised me, to be honest. So it actually came fairly easy to, to me, in a sense, okay? Right. Um, Mark Hidings, of course, like I said, he's a great friend down in Florida. His advice and everything it helped me a lot. Okay, as far as driving uh, and everything. What to do to the car. Okay. What to do with the car and things that would help us. You know, so we there's a little you know tricks here and there that we did with the car, like you know the weight reduction, right, things like that. Right. Uh, actually, the SRT8 front brake AJ Hemi tuner. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The one that told me about that. Okay. So and is that what he got on his? That's 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 what, that's what they used to do a long time ago. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's what he told me when oh, they okay. first were running on before you know the 15 inch. Right. So, right. So I said, great idea, I'll do that, you know. Plus, I like the SRT8 brakes because they're still a little bit bigger. Exactly, so exactly. You, you get to go on 150 plus yeah. in the quarter, stopping gets a little scary sometimes. Real so, scary. I mean, so, we slugging 4,000 know. pounds plus. Yeah. Now, this one, we got it down with me in it. I guess we made anywhere with the race seat in it, I'd say I was anywhere from 4,200 to about 4,200. Okay. We ran the 886, we were about 4,350 to 4,370. Okay, so we still a up there. Yeah, I was about to say, still uh, kind of up there in yeah, weight. The, um, but like I said, the biggest thing is, you know, I hit that and then, you know, I was talking to my friend Toby Davis, D-Man 007, mm -hmm. on Instagram, a lot of mm -hmm. people know him. And he, he, he's going to go fast. Okay. And I told him, I said, man, I'm not worried about it. Said, you know, I've already went eight. I, right. I, I, I want to try to run more street classes, set the car up to 17, do that. Right. And then over the weekend, I was thinking about it, and I said, we're going to go fast on <laughs> motor anyway. And I said, knowing me, I'll probably want to go even faster. Right, I said, right. That's the fuck, and I'm going to put that nitrous on. We're just going to blow and go. Hey, that's how you got to do it. <laughs> that's how you got to do it, man. I'll try to tell y'all, when you already done tap the eight in this big heavy demonstration, it's like, you know what I'm saying, what's next, man? Sevens, that's on, you know what I'm saying? I think it's probably only maybe one seven second Hellcat out here, and I think that's Leon, man. So, we here, gang, you know what I'm saying? Hawkeye transmission gonna get bust down in a little minute, and I'm gonna cut it on up and let y'all see what's all going on with it. Well, I'm kind of having a fan. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cause you make it look real easy. <laughs> That's the hot spots there. All right, the little dark colors. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take these drums apart and inspect them. I'm gonna see where they're at. But uh, it looks like that's gonna be burnt too. That's the, the bluish color that, that's on the that? The bluing is where heat's developed. Okay. Break the right I mean, the drum's good. Don't get me wrong there. This transmission is in pieces, gang. Y'all see? The whole thing. I mean, I literally, I'm mad I didn't record y'all to see how this whole thing got took apart. It came out looking like it was only two pieces, and now we got a million of them demonstrations, man. But we're about to see exactly. So the input shaft, which I think was on this side right there, that's what actually broke. But he just checking over to make sure all the clutches and everything are all good. Give y'all some results in a little hot second. They're burnt too. That's your E-clutch, it's burnt, it's been slipping. And the problem is, is what I'm thinking is going on, being that you don't have the lockup stuff adjusted, is that your clutch is slipping, then they're catching, and it shocked it. Right. It snapped it right off. That's not, that's not good. You don't need that. Let's see if this one looks hot. Had you, uh, well, I don't know the type of the vehicle. Is that new? No, used. Used, okay. Did somebody do anything to it used before you got it? Yep. Was yeah, it yeah. Was it through Jeremy or somebody else? Oh, uh, somebody else. Yeah, that somebody else may not get the tuner right. You basically just got the, the back the, end. The back end, know, right, right. It wasn't bad, you know. But I know Jeremy, like I said, I did my research on him. He's a good tuner. Oh, yeah, for a fact. That's why I had to switch to him. That's exactly why I had to switch guys, to him. You guys don't realize, when I say research, it means I basically... Just double, triple get, check. I got to <laughs> people who had to deal with him. Okay. See their opinions on him and how they were... Know how they felt, and the sea clutch has been slipping too. See how Where black, do you see, see how this? black it is on the certain ones? No, on the, the certain black, oh, so the, the, so the ones black. that's black supposed to look just the as clutch, clear as that. Yeah, the clutches should look basically red almost like that, right? But see how they're blackened, they've right? Been slipping. Um, I mean, we got to do the input shaft, but we really need to go ahead and fix the clutches and stuff. Man. Damn. Hold on, gang. I'm about to chop it up with Dave. I'll be back with y'all in a hot second. Well, gang, I know y'all about can expect what I'm about to tell y'all, man. Y'all saw them clutches. Y'all saw the scar marks. Yes, sir. Hey, Hawkeye is finna have a built transmission in that demonstration now, man. So she, we should be able to crank that thing on up. And do what you need to do now, man. You know what I'm saying? We got Dave behind it, tested and proven. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, he know exactly what he's doing as far as when it comes to these transmissions. Proof is in the pudding in his Hellcat alone. You know what I'm saying? The research and everything is all in there, man. So if y'all need a built one done up, y'all know who to hit up, man. You know what I'm saying? Dave at DMB Auto. Y'all know right here in Memphis. I'm going to leave all this information in the description and everything right here. Because y'all know Hawkeye is in super good hands. We already got Jay with the Soterra sauce on that demonstration. Now we got Dave behind the transmission game. So man, this truck is becoming something that I never expected it to become. But man, it's like something you gotta do. You gotta do. It is what it is, man. Wasn't expecting this to come out that chop. I ain't gonna cap, gang. I was not expecting to come out that chop. I was hoping that literally the piece that had broke was the input shaft so i was hoping that it was just that but i mean dave busted down and was like he just want to review and look over the clutches for me real quick just to see if it's all the way together and if the clutches was good then that's you know i would have just went by and just band-aided it up right now but when he took it out he pretty much said it's a no-go i mean we would have fixed the input shaft Trans would have been slipping crazy by putting them burnt clutches back in. Hawkeye would have been getting dragged. I would have been getting black eyes. You know what I'm saying? Not giving black eyes, but getting black eyes. And that is not what we trying to do. You feel me? At all. Y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Tell them again. It's over with for that. So, you feel me? We got that young dmb transmission in that demonstration, man. So, y'all make sure, y'all, like I say, go hit them up on Instagram and everything. If y'all 
in need of transmission needs for whatever vehicle you have period but i can guarantee he definitely got the sauce on the hellcat platform you know what i'm saying what's them the zfs that's yeah. what they call yeah the zfs you know what i'm saying the 90s the zf 95s all that you know what i'm saying that's who you come to to get it done yeah because the 85 i think is something well yeah i don't know what number's coming them off the top of my head but that's what y'all go to to get them things done, man. Like I say, I'm gonna drop, I already dropped the video in uh, how his car run, which I'm still gonna throw that in at the end too, if I find that clip, uh, how his car shaking the move. And I mean, his transmissions is proven, man. Self-proven himself, you know what I'm saying? He can stand by it because he goes out to the track, race on the regular and everything, man. So that's the type of time you want somebody to do, you know what I'm saying? Actual, actual proof in the pudding of what that thing do actual data of what it do you know what i'm saying and very knowledgeable that's, you, you want to mess with somebody that's very knowledgeable on anything you do and what i can say with jay and dave you know what i'm saying teaming up and everything like that too it's just man hawkeye is about to be giving some mega garbage you feel me i wonder what's next hawkeye gonna bring to me man she is emptying your boy pocketbook so crazy and now your boy gotta stay here tonight man so we gotta get a room we oh. have all day hungry as hell was about to go mess with roof chris but day closed you gotta hit them later don't you <laughs> <laughs> they open at 4 30 we gotta go man there. that was looking too good i ain't gonna cap but y'all see we ended up stopping right here at the young hooters we about to go get smacked indeed big wings big drinks Cause now we ain't got to jump back on that young road so hey y'all just stay tuned man and once i go pick the transmission up you know i cut the camera back on for y'all and everything and keep y'all updated on how it's going man but hey we done went from damn i'm hey hawkeye just crazy now you know what i'm saying yeah. built motor built trans she built what they say built not bought stop it's there, like my man's Gooch say. It's there, it's there. It's up there, it's up there. We ain't going nowhere, you feel me? So, hey, man, you already know this is what we trying to do to get this car out here to MLK, man. So, listen, that was the whole point of me coming down here firsthand to deliver that demonstration because Dave literally say parts and all that will be in tomorrow. Cooley, get your ass up after breakfast. Come pick it on up and head on back there because he ready for me to do damage this weekend coming up at MLK. So y'all know what's going on, man. Big sauce getting added to the truck. You know what I'm saying? Jay gonna get behind the laptop, tune it up a little bit one time for the one time, a little bit more, touch it on up. Man, we MLK bound, man. So y'all just stay tuned. And like I say, all the shops that I deal with always gonna be in the description at all times, man. You feel me? Because I want y'all to be at the right place. If I'm getting, getting work done there, it's right. You feel me? Because I done did some research on who I'm dealing with and everything like that, man. So just know if you got a mopa go to jay for the sauce go to dave for the sauce i mean but he do he was in there whipping so many transmissions of built motor built trans ah yes sir <laughs> you know what time it is man but i rock with everybody that's rocking with me man and they doing excellent work on the truck so i'm just happy that i'm not having to go around and bounce around and deal with nightmares like i'm hearing a lot of other horror stories of other shops and everything like that so that be really the main thing that i'll try and show y'all too where to go so y'all don't have to deal with the headaches man because i know how it is with dealing with the headaches when you're spending the money and you're not getting the results the difference is i'm spending the money getting the results so y'all come rock with the same people that i'm rocking with man so tell tuna dmb auto let's get it man hawkeye is on another level man turn up time turn the pressure up you can hear i can hear screaming right now i can hear hawkeye screaming right now oh, oh, oh. hey it's gonna be real brutal hey she talking she talking she be like uh hold on let's see if we can find it real quick you looking for that sound effect? Cause I might was gonna smack that damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Too much sauce. Too much sauce. Y'all just stay tuned, man. And y'all already know if you ain't hit the like button, hit the like button right now. Help the Coolie gang get to the top and join the movement. Let's go. One hour later. Well, gang, this we gonna call it a wrap for the day. It's been a long day. Hey, I'm ready to kick my feet up, you know what I'm saying? Get up in this young Swinny. Man, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I gotta show y'all this, because 
I never get to utilize none of this stuff, man. And it blows me, but. Definitely could have used that young pool on that. That young jacuzzi, too. But it is what it is, man. I'm about to head dead in that young room. And call it one, man. So y'all already know how I'm coming with this stuff, man. Hawkeye. It's the Hawkeye done became on a whole nother level that I never saw it coming, but hey, it's called life. Roll with the punches and get to it. Let's get it.